Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for showing up on Friday. I really appreciate you guys coming in, looking at my videos, commenting, and leaving the likes because it really helps my channel. Uh, I just want to say to everybody, TGIFMF, thank God it's Friday, my friends. Let's get on with this relic hunt. All right, see that hole down there? Hope y'all can see that. I got uh, 1819 on the Knox. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna find out together. Hope it's not junk. What could it be? All right, guys, this came up a uh, solid 10 on the Knox, and it is just a cap to something. I thought it was a button, but if you look right here on the edge, you can see it used to have a edge all the way around it, and most of it's broken off. Nothing spectacular, but there's more stuff here, so I'm keeping going. It's in here. It's in the hand. What is it? Uh -oh. What is it? Is it just a spent bullet? Mm. I know what this is. Look at that. Another rivet. All right. I think I've got several of these. All right, let's keep on going. The night is young. All right, guys. Dime Detective uh, found a big wiggly earthworm. Yeah. <laughs> that is a cool little snake. Is he biting you yet? No, he just doesn't want to be healed. He's he's mad that his neighborhood was tore up. I don't blame him. I can't think of this as a brown snake or a pink belly snake, but he's he's an insect eater. He's not a human biter. That's good. It's the kind we want. Eat all these darn mosquitoes. Well, he just does not want to be healed either. Oh, no. You want to be held by me? No. <laughs> all right. That's cool. Well, I guess we'll set him free. All right. Just the first decent target I've got. I've been digging a lot of modern bullets and cans law, unfortunately. Uh, not really sure what this guy is. Copper or brass has a hole in the center. To me, it kind of looks like it might have been a washer for a furniture tack or something. I don't know. It's hard to say. Anybody ever seen one of these? Let me know. All right, 12, 13 on the Knox. Some type of copper thing. If you turn it this way. It kind of looks like a keyhole, but I'm not sure what that is. Came up uh, 1819 on that knock. Dime Detective out here in this dark has got this really cool flat button. Look at that. It's got like a, a star in the middle, and it has gold guild still on it. I don't know if y'all can see the gold guild, but check that out. That is nice. All right. Uh, it's the next night, and uh, me and Dime Detective are out here, and he got uh, kind of a strange relic. What does that say on that thing? Well, a couple of nights ago, my brother was out here, and then <laughs> tracing through his footsteps, I found this thing that says Midol Tablets. <laughs> uh, so he must have dropped this out of his pocket. Midol. All right, guys. That's probably uh, from long ago, but that's the first thing he's dug up. I mean, other than a button, I think you got a button, right? Yeah. All right, let's keep on going. Let's find some good stuff. That's a laugh. This came up solid 18. It was a little piece of jewelry, it looks like. You can see the little uh, thing on the top, the chain to go through. It's beat up, and I was thinking it was silver, but it's pretty light that might be some kids uh, necklace that was made out of aluminum that's what I'm getting all right all right guys I got lucky and got the first target of the night and it looks like a button it looks like there's a tank on the back do a little clean up here yeah Maybe I'm wrong. Could be a, a roofing tack. Could be a horse tack. Alright. 
sometimes you got to break out the manual brush and something a little stiffer. There you go. There's something on there. Pretty sure this is some horse tack. Look at that. I will have to clean that up and get a better ID on it, but it looks like the letter C is on there. All right. Cool. First relic of the night. Check it out. That's cool. All right, got another target. Come up 1819 on the Knox. I got out of ground, it, it went down to 16, 17, so let's see if it's anything other than junk. There it is. Whatever it is. Well, I thought I had it. Must be. Hmm. Is that the target? That can't be. Look over here. All right, there we go. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, well, that's crazy. I've never, well this new, new pinpointer, can I blame it on the pinpointer? Or just my lack of experience with the pinpointer, here we go. Ah, all right. Hush up, mine lab. All right, here we go. This is what we got. And uh, I can pretty much tell you, zoom out here a little bit. Zoom in. That, my friends, is a musket ball. Now I'm going to clean it up just a little bit, just so I can prove it. I could be wrong. Could it be a beat up Civil War button uh, bullet. Could be wrong. Could be a slug. I'm a shotgun. Alright. And now, if I can see it better. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Here we go. That is a uh, musket ball all day. She's round. All right, hadn't found one of these in a while. All right, guys. Dime Detective came across a really cool relic. Now, this ain't no 1800 stuff, but uh, it's definitely early 1900s or mid 1900s. What is that? Well, it's got a star on it across the top. It says uh -huh. Texaco. Around this side, it says Petroleum. Over here, we're not sure. The last couple letters, like. Look like O U S T, but oh, okay, yeah. We were joking. It says uh, Texaco Petroleum YouTube, but <laughs> it does look like tube at the end, but I can't make it out. Well, we took a better picture, so let's see if we can get this in the screen here. There you go. That's a cool button. Now that could have been on somebody's uh, uniform. What's really cool is down at the very bottom, underneath the T, is the words either R E D. Red or REG. I cannot make it out. That could be regular. Might be regular. Yep. Regular YouTube. <laughs> See right there? Alright, guys. That's a cool relic. Alright, guys. Daniel was kicking my butt on relics tonight, but that's okay. Look at that. That's a D buckle. Not sure how old that is. I bet you that might have been around when these houses were here. And uh, that was late 1800s up to the mid 1900s because we've got some German coins out of here, French coins, silver, American silver, Spanish silver. <laughs> Congrats, man. All right, we got a solid 1920 in that hole right there. Let me put some bright light on. 
There we go. And uh, I pulled it out. It's right in here. So I'm going to reveal it together. I'm hoping it's the IHP, but you never know. It could be junk. What is that? Hmm, look at that. What the heck? That's copper or brass. It doesn't exactly look like anything good. Huh. I can see a place right here. If you can see that or not. Yeah, this was uh this was riveted onto something. It could have something on it. Some writing or something. Can't make out anything right there. This seems to be the back. Well anyway, that probably went on something like an old piece of machinery or something. I'll see if I can uh, find any lettering on it when I get home. All right. All right, this came up uh, 1718 on the Knox. This is a dog tag. It reads across the top, male dog. It has a number and it says 1930. So I just found a 1930 dog tag. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. That's cool. All right. See if I can find something else before I get out of here. All right. It's more line. Like Dime Detective's got a few rocks he's going to talk about. What you got, man? Um, that is, I believe, a two-piece button of some sort in front of it. All right. Um, that is, uh, I call it a leather, leather rivet, but I think it, what it actually went on was a leather pouch. Mm-hmm. And when you push the the flap over, you would hook it on that. Okay. But we always call them leather rivets. Uh, I believe that is some sort of knob that got smashed. And that is a big. We call it call them all D rings, but they they've got different names. But that one, um, I can probably look it up in my book when I get home. Probably went to um, like a horse saddle, horse bridle, something yep. to something of that nature. Most likely. All right, I can tell it's old. All right, let's keep on going. Mm -hmm. 